Welcome to day two of the Men's and Women's West Coast Conference Golf Championships here at Gold Mountain Golf Club in Bremerton, Washington. I'm joined by Grant Forrest of University of San Diego who had a very good day today. Four under par, you're now five under on the entire tournament. Tell me a little bit about your day today. What went well for you? Um, I got off to a good start, made birdies on the fir my first and second holes. And then after that, I just kind of kept it going, only made two bogeys. And um, there were some tricky pins out there, so... Um, I played I played more more solid than yesterday, so it was good. Did you think that having that that good start today really kind of set the pace for a day, or does that not make a difference necessarily um, to you? No, it definitely helps. It kind of if you're a little bit nervous, it settles the nerves, and um, you're just trying to build on that from from there on in. You had a good day yesterday, one over par uh, or one under par, excuse mm -hmm. me. But today even better. Did yeah. you feel any difference between today and yesterday, the way you were shooting? Um, I I didn't. Honestly, didn't play very well yesterday. Uh, it was a bit scrappy, and I just managed to managed to get it round in one under. Which, at the end of the day, I, w I was pretty happy with with uh, considering the way I played. But today, I played a lot better. What about the course today? What what major changes did you notice from today or to, from uh, yesterday to today? Um, I mean, I think I think it played pretty similar to yesterday. Um, if anything, a little bit windier today. Um, and I think the scores have been a little bit higher. Um, but other than that, it's, it's stayed stayed pretty similar. Day two is an important day because it sets up, obviously, the mm -hmm. final day. Is there any kind of different strategy you have between day one and day two, personally, for you? Um, I think day one, you just tend to be a bit more conservative because, obviously, you can lose. You can put yourself out of the tournament on the first day. You, you can't win it. And then... If you get off to an okay start, you know, day two is the, the time to really kind of try and have a, a good round and set up, either get close to the lead or in the lead for the last round. And how important is for you in terms of momentum and just kind of your overall psyche having that good day two mm -hmm. heading into day three? Yeah, I mean, it's always it's always good if you know you've played well the day before and, you know, you still, I still left a, a few shots out there, so hopefully I can, can tighten up a little bit tomorrow and have a, a good round again. As a team, San Diego does have some ground to make up if they're going to get the team title. Mm -hmm. What do you think you'll you'll talk about with your team tomorrow, just heading into that final day? Um, you know, I mean, we'll just it'll be the same things as we have. You know, just stick to our game plan. That's the main thing, and try not to <clears throat> try to eliminate any silly errors that that you know you can throw away a few shots, and it all adds up in the end. So, just try and. Everyone just focus on their own game and um, try and have a good round tomorrow. When you're a few strokes back, is, is that all a thought in your mind of I need to catch someone or do you just try to play um, the game that you are playing? I mean, I think it can almost be easier when you're either one or two shots behind going into the last round because um, all the pressure's on the guy who's leading to try and to try and obviously stay ahead. and You know, you just you can be a little bit more aggressive and try and make some birdies and, and catch them. All right, well, Grant, congratulations okay. on a great day and good luck yeah. tomorrow. Thank you. And we'll be right here on the final day of the West Coast Conference Men's and Women's Golf Championship, bringing you plenty more interviews and coverage.